Gabriel Rosado. Uh, Gabriel, you stayed, I would say, unusually quiet for the last couple of weeks. Yeah. And Maciej Sulenski got some, you know, pretty, uh, pretty definitive statement saying that he's gonna, he wants to, he wants you to quit. Yeah. Are you response? <laughs> It would never happen, <laughs> you know. So uh, you know, I'm just uh, ready for this fight, mentally, physically. It's in my hometown, so you know, I can't, I can't let myself down and my fans down. So I'm gonna give it everything I got to uh, make sure I come out with a win. This is pretty clear-cut situation. What uh, Eddie heard is Hearn said, a winner of this fight most likely is gonna fight uh, Andrade for WBO. Yeah. And for you guys, this is this is the crossroads fights. You like yeah. this kind of fights? Yeah, this is an important fight. You know, this is what we work hard for. This is what we dream about. You know, to become a world champion and just to know that I'm a win away from getting there is definitely um, motivation to do it. Every, everything I have to do to win this fight. I was there five years ago when you fought Triple G in, uh, in Madison garden. Square Garden yeah. Theater downstairs, and uh, you didn't wanna. You didn't want to stop the fight. No. Basically, the the corner told you, yeah, Gabriel, yeah. it's enough. Yeah. Well, you know, I was cut badly over my left eye. I had three gashes over my left eye, and I was pretty much fighting blind. You know, it was a lot of blood. Uh, it was getting in my eyes, and you know, my corner just felt that you know the smart thing to do was to stop the fight, think about my future. But um, you know, all that was just a learning experience, and. You know, we keep moving forward, getting better, getting stronger. I think you'll see the best Gabe Rosado on Friday. This will be my next question, because some people are saying your best years are, are behind you. But the question is, did you change the way you fight? Because you fight on a character. You fight, you know, with, with your incredible heart. But in the last fight, you become most like a, more like a tactician than, than the Gabriel Rosado, Rosado we used to well, see. I think it's just experience and just being smart, like a box. If I can box and make a guy miss, why not? If I can make my job easier. I think a lot of people underestimate my boxing ability and they forget that I can box, I can move. And my last fight it was against a guy who talked a lot of trash. You know, he was throwing bombs and he was missing. I made a miss. I walked out of the fight clean. He walked out of the fight with a bunch of cuts and banged up. Everyone had me winning the fight. And I'm here. It was unfortunate draw. Yeah, no doubt. exactly. And I'm here now fighting for a fight that winner goes to the world title. So, you know, it's just about being smart. You know, the less punishment you take, the longer you last. So if I can box and make my job easier, why not? When you when you watched Sulensky fight, did you? Yeah. I've did seen you watch Jacobs fight? Which one? Cool yeah, guy fight? Seen, uh, I've seen him fight Jacobs. I've seen him fight Centeno. Mm -hmm. A couple other fights. You know, um, you know, he just he likes to he likes to apply pressure and let his hands go. So you know, I've studied I've studied him. You know, I know I know I know what um what kind of fighter to be. Um, I don't think there's anything that he does that I haven't seen, or vice versa. You know, he's been in there with you know a good fighter in Jacobs, and I've fought in the best. You know, but um, I think I got the slight advantage over him as far as uh, experience. You know, and when it comes to a bigger punch, I'm I'm pretty sure I pack a bigger punch than he does. Gabriel Rosado, thank you very much. Thank Let you. the best man win. Thank, thank you, Gabriel. Thank you.